às mais velhas, aos mais velhos, a todos e todas que pavimentaram e percorreram as águas né, dessa travessia para permitir essa distribuição da nossa gente, da nossa cultura, do nosso conhecimento, é, para que a gente continuasse com esse desejo de circular, de se reencontrar. Ah, eu tenho algumas palavras... Agora, Cora, já está já tá o som bom? Sim. Yeah. Can you hear the sound are, of the Quran? Are, let's see if we can hear hear the sound. Okay. which means peace, um, you know, uh, Kaira. We play Kaira, uh, which means peace, you know, just to make peace among all of us. Just one sec. Okay. Uh, the, 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 first, the first word of our meeting is hit, hit well. And the yeah. chora comes with this feeling, the sounds comes this, with this feeling of the ritual are beginning when the chora, the chora starts to play. So okay. uh, that, there are a special rhythm, rhythm that, we, yeah. that you guys play when you start a meeting or you start a moment. There are special... Yeah. For special events, the, the one we are going to play now, we play that in a special event to begin any event. That's Kaira. Kaira is to make peace. Yeah, it means Kaira in Bamara means peace. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, that's Kaira. So now we can start because we are in peace. Peter. Yes, it's pretty important to begin with peace. It's, good, it's, it's, good. it's extremely necessary, extremely necessary to start with peace uh, because yeah. here, we, we who live in the di di diaspora, sometimes we, we mm -hmm. feel uh, uh, the, the, we, we feel that we must fight every time. Yeah. Not, it's not yeah. a feeling, it's a way of life because we need to fight to survive and we need to fight to walk uh, through. But yeah. Yeah. it's pretty important to be reminded that to start to begin something, we need the peace. And we, yeah. can, we can transmit the peace with, uh, with us, with uh, each other. And yeah. we, it, it's, uh, it's amazing when we, when, when we hear the Kaira, yeah. now I know yeah. I just, I just met this rhythmic, this song Kaira. It's, yeah. uh, it's, it's, it's express a feeling that we can stay in peace together. It's pretty important. Thank and you. I would like to say that we, here, this side of the Atlantic, there are many of us that are waiting for a moment that we can make a return just because yeah. we, we never, uh, never agreed that we, are, yeah. that we are just bad stuff, bad history. And yeah. 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 Uh, one one of these these um, in in the, the, one of the ways that we've learned that we are powerful mm -hmm. that we are good. Uh, it's a, mm -hmm. about a specifically uh, characteristic of our culture that is music. And yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. like that you uh, that, that you could return or repeat that what you what you say do told about the culture, and if yeah. you can extend it to explain a little bit more about music, what music uh, makes for our lives. Good, you know, um, Cecil, we all say that. Uh, music is life. Music is a medication. And uh, every culture has its own music, which is expressing the feelings, okay, the vision of, of that ethnic group or of that uh, culture. Mm -hmm. So nobody in this world can say, I don't like music at all. Nobody can say that. You may say, I don't like jazz music. You may say, I don't like the rock and roll music. You may say, I don't like uh, uh, what your, your dance is, um, um, the, the dance you do, flamenco or the flamenco. You may say, I don't like flamenco, but you would never ever say, I don't like music at all. So music is like uh, part of the, the human being's life. It's uh, the, the, the the most important part of the human being's life without music. Imagine one world during one second or even take 30 seconds in this world without music, what the world would be. It would be a very sad place, a, a dying place, you know. It, it, it's the place what is dying out, you know. So uh, we are here, whenever you guys 
just understand the sound, the, the sound of this chora, I know the feeling all of you have. Even if you don't understand what is the meaning. But I'm going to explain you, uh, Kaira. Kaira uh, was during the was created in Mali uh, during the Independence Day, the Malian Independence Day. So there was a griot association. Griot is part of Nyamakala. Okay, when you talk about Nyamakala, the griots are part of the Nyamakala class because uh, the Nyamakala is a social class. You know. They, uh, the Nyamakala are composed of the griots, of the, the Fune, okay, of the Garanke, of the blacksmith, the Forgeron, okay. Uh, we call them Numu in Bambara. So, but each of them uh, has a, a specific role in the society. The griot is supposed to be the peacemaker, you know. And uh, when two families are into trouble, in, when there is tension in between two families, the griots are here to settle down the problems between people in the society, in the communities. They also uh, are the people to, to do marriages. If I want to marry Caesar, I send my griot to Caesar's friend, as parents, to bring the colonel, okay? Uh, the family, the Dumble family, want to uh, send me to ask, okay, your daughter, you know, uh, to marry to their son, uh, Seydou Dambele. That's what my griot called to stay to your, uh, to your parents. That's how griots do. And also when there is a naming ceremony, the griots are like the messengers. They go from family to family and say, okay, Seydou Dambele's family has a new baby and the naming ceremony is the next week. And he will do that in the whole community to inform everybody. So he's like a messenger, a peacemaker, a messenger, and also he had the power of speech. You know, when uh, he tells me the story of my ancestors, just to remind me the heroism my ancestors uh, did in the past, if I don't do that, I don't have to be a wicked person. I don't have to be a bad person. I always have to go in the right way, the right to do things in the right way, to do good things, not to do bad things. You know, if my grand ancestor, if my ancestor has been warriors and I'm not supposed to be afraid of any uh, enemies, I have to be, you know, facing the enemies to fight against the enemies for the well-being of my community. If my ancestors fought against the enemies for the well-being of, my, of the community, I have to do that. So the griots are here just to strengthen me, telling me the story of my ancestors, just to make me brave, more brave, you know, to face any dangers coming toward my, my community so that I can defend my community in the, in the braveness. So that's the roles of the griot. So Kaira was created, you know, by those griot, you know, during the colonial period at the very, uh, at the end of the colonial period and the beginning of the Independence Day, just to, to praise, to praise the peace in the communities. You know, when Kaira Association came, they always played this song just to praise and call, call on for, for peace, you know. So uh, that's why it is very important to any Malian musician, especially the Kora players, eh, to go to any, any even they go, the first song they're gonna play is uh, Kaira, to call on for peace and to invite everybody to make peace and to praise for peace in that event. I'm praying peace. Uh, and love in this event and from the beginning until the end. What a such compromise to be a person who are responsible to make peace, to, to announce a new child, to make a wedding. 
and yeah. <laughs> you told you told many times uh, the the word griot. And yes. in this context, I was mm-hmm. I was reading about the the word jelly. Yes. And my jelly. And my, Jelly yes. is the Bambara word for griot. Griot is a uh, French or English, but the Bambara word for griot is jelly. So it's better say jelly, jelly, jelly. Okay, let's say jelly. <laughs> okay, jelly. And, am okay. I writing? Am I writing the accent jelly? <laughs> yes, jelly. Yeah, that's the right accent. Yes, that's the right yeah. pronunciation. Yeah. Yeah, I just learned about it. I uh, here in Brazil, we we receive the information. <coughs> sorry, mm-hmm. we receive this information about the griot. And okay. when we just uh, when when I just started to read and to to know you guys more, I've mm-hmm. under- now understand what is jelly, what it really yeah. means. So I would like to know, are, are you a jelly? No, I am not a jelly. I am uh, a noble, I am from the noble class. I am from, um, my ancestor is the one of the biggest warriors of uh, Sunjata Keita in the empire of Mali, uh, which is uh, uh, Tiramakan. Tiramakan was one of the generals of uh, Sunjata Keita during the empire, uh, during his reign in the empire of, uh, of Mali, of Mande, Mande Empire. Let's say Mande Empire, but because at that time, Mali didn't exist. And that empire included Mali, Senegal, Gambia, Burkina Faso, Guinea-Bissau, and Guinea, Guinea Conakry, and part of uh, Niger and uh, uh, Cote d'Ivoire. It was so large. And Sunjata Keita was the king, you know, he was the chief, he was the king of, of, of that in big, the biggest empire. And uh, his, I'm from uh, one of his generals, uh, whose name was uh, Tramakan Traore. So nice, and but but to to you to say in in Mali right now, for you to say yeah. Mali right now, it are you in this place in this town just by just because of the call it the music, or you yeah. were born around around there you are. I I was born in a village. Uh, my village, the village where I was born, is at. Uh, 182 kilometers from uh, Bamako, the capital city of Mali. I am now in Bamako, where is the capital city? But I was born and uh, part of my childhood, I spent it in that village. I came in Bamako when I was 16 years old. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. I, I just would like to know a, a little bit more about you. It's important to know yeah, about the personalities that we are speaking because I, we I know can, that. I can. Yeah. It's just because the trajectory that we we walk, that we we construct, it's pretty important because you went to Bamako with sixteen. For for food yes. or because your family moved, why? No, I came to Bamako for the studies for the school because I went to school. Uh, the primary school is in the village, but there was no college in the village. When I, I was graduated from the fundamental school, I had to go to the college, so. As there is no college in the village, I came to Bamako to ca- carry on my studies at the, ca- uh, at the college. And after that, I went to the university and all that in Bamako. And when I finished up with my studies, I started teaching English sometimes before getting married. And then I got connected to Playing for Chance Foundation uh, for which I'm 
I'm working now. So that's why I can't go back to the village. I am married in Bamako. I have children in Bamako and my job is in Bamako. That's why. <laughs> Good, good, good to know. And in, yes. and in this context too, uh, the music or the other arts, when it yes. when you started to 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 play or to work with music, was always immersed in immersed immersed in the, the music or it came in another another moment of your life. My, I, I can say that I, I was born in music because uh, you know the hunters? The hunter. Okay, there is a musician who plays for the hunters. You know that? It play, he plays something similar to the kora, but it is not kora, it's dosongoni. Have you ever heard about dosongoni? That's the no. chora for the hunters. Okay, that's the chora for the hunters. And my father played that instrument. Now my brother is playing that instrument. And my mother sung, you know, when my father played that instrument. And I was very little. I was like, uh, I was born in that, you know. So to say, I, I, I didn't come into music by random. I was born like that. I have been always listening to that instrument and very impressed by it. When Whenever my dad played that, even if I was sleeping, I just woke up. My father noticed that before I, they sent me to school. When I was, I went to school when I was seven. There is no kindergarten in the village. No electricity, no clean water. We were in a very small village and the school was uh, uh, in the big village nearby the, the small village I was born. So my parents took me to that village with a, a lamp, a petrol lamp. Do you know the petrol lamp? Uh, sorry, the petrol lamp? Yes, that's something which gives light. You put petrol on it or oil, and oh, no, you no, put no. Light. Okay, so that's what I used when I was so young at the fundamental school to learn my lessons. And my dad always played that when I, before they sent me to that school. And I left my parents also to go to that village to, to stay with some relatives when I was very young, when I was at the age of seven. And I sent them come back to the parents uh, until the, the Christmas holidays or the Easter holidays or the big vacations. But I always saw my, my father playing that and my mother singing. Nah, oh, now, your mother okay, sing yes, a my singer my and a player at, at home. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, because of the school, I, I did not come up to play that instrument because uh, my parents were so, were so devoted uh, to the school. They want me to go to school to study uh, instead of being uh, at home and going to the field with them, doing hard works, you know. And uh, I'm lucky because I'm the only ch uh, child who has been successful at school. All the other children fell because they they thought that the school was not necessary because that was the blight blight uh, the, I mean the white man culture so uh, they say it's not necessary for <laughs> a black kids to go to school. <laughs> Yes, yeah. in this the, the 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 question is about the equality music. Why yeah. you just think it's important to build the equality music then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. To me, to me, it's pretty interesting. Uh, two, two, two things. 
I have this, okay. this com I, I have this idea, and I would like to hear a little bit more the Cora. But okay. one uh, just just one thing is just because they call it the music, it's pretty important uh, for the context of the community. And after mm -hmm. you play. Uh, yeah. I would like to talk a little bit more about they call it the music. Okay. Okay, no problem. So yes. let's hear, let's hear a little bit. Okay, the, this the song we're gonna play uh, means Jarabi. As we play the peace song, we're gonna also play a love song because peace goes with love. We always say peace and love. So Jarabi means love, but uh, it means love in general, because we all have to love each other as human beings. Yes, so Jarabi for you. confess that I was playing in my leg <laughs> like my <laughs> leg was a drum I, I'm a drummer I'm a, I play drums and I was, a drummer, you practice I was oh good I was a companion playing here <laughs> okay okay Everybody and and to yeah, play good, about good. to play about love the love calls us to 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 play together yeah yeah, yeah. they got together okay I forgot to introduce you to uh, uh, the Cora player. He's one of the uh, the great students at the uh, Ecole de Music de Kirina. Okay, his name is Bubakar Gwem. And we opened the school. Now I'm gonna talk about, I start by him to talk about a music school. So we uh, Kirina uh, school has been opened uh, in uh, October in 2010. 
And Bubaka Game uh, was one of the first students you know, uh, of, the, of the school. Now he advised, he's one of the most advanced Kora players, Kora, Kora students uh, at the school. We went with him in Ghana for a festival and we just left Morocco for another festival. And maybe later on, I can forward you some of the videos of uh, those uh, performances. So uh, to talk about the music school, um, now we are giving free music education to more than 170 students. And, and we are programs like uh, Kora, uh, Jembe, Jembe with a, a percussion is a drum, okay? And Balafon, the Balafon is the xylophone, okay? Uh, the wooden xylophone we have, okay? And we have the Monday, the, the Monday Balafon, the Balafon from Monday, okay, from our ancestors. Okay, the first Balafon player in that history uh, who was very well known is Bala Fasege Kuyate, who is another jelly. He was a jelly of, uh, okay, Sumanguru Kante, uh, yeah, in the empire, of uh, yeah, uh, course, Soso Empire. And that's Bala, that Bala form is today in, uh, kept in part of uh, Guinea Conakry in uh, Nyagasola, which is called the Soso Bala, okay? So, uh, we have Soso Bala at the music school. We're teaching Bala and we're teaching talking drum, that small drum, okay? Uh, we, we, we're teaching that also. And we're teaching guitar. We're teaching guitar and also uh, the African dance. We're teaching dance. We have dance students. And uh, also I give uh, uh, English classes and uh, uh, French classes to the students because we are connected to more programs. Music schools, Playing for Chance Foundation is supporting. Uh, those people are French and uh, English speaking countries. So we're teaching the kids how to speak English and French. <laughs> yes, that's uh, a natural work we can do. Now, uh, Bubakar and many other students are very advanced and we have a band. Now we have a band in Kirina. Maybe uh, well, for the next edition of Nyamakala, uh, we're going to take that uh, band to Brazil and you will see how good and how powerful the African music is. <laughs> and so anybody can, can learn, can sued in the Colle de Musique or their uh, age that you... Good. Anybody, anybody can come to attend the music school and all the programs are free. We are giving free musical education. Nobody pays one cent to come to, to take classes. And anybody, anybody, no, no difference of age, no restriction of age. You can be 15 years old, you can be seven years old, you can be eight years old, 10 years old, or even 40 years old. If you want to learn music, we are open for you. You know, so because we know that many students are uh, fail at school and they don't know what to do. And many of them call when they go online and see the music school, they call me. They say, hey, how can you do to come to school to take some uh, uh, chorus lessons or guitar lessons or drum lessons? I say, come, everything is free. And no matter how old you are, we are here for everybody. So the school is open for everybody. Yes. Important, pretty important to know that I'm not too old to participate of the class. No, no, you are not too old. You are not too old to take any classes, you know. Now, especially now we are families. So uh, we, we usually charge tourist people, those are, uh, those people who want to come and uh, steal our culture, if they come, like the other skin mind, I don't want to tell if I said it. <laughs> so I, <laughs> so I, 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 know, I, I understand. I can understand. You can uh, I would some like of to... those people to pay. 
Nice, nice. <laughs> so uh, do you have a calendar of uh, festivities uh, that are special moments through during the year that you have yes. uh, a special? Yes, we, we did a festival last year, which is uh, the festival of uh, uh, African and international music, you know. Um, that happened, the first edition happened last year, but as you know, the COVID situation, you know, has broken all the cultural projects. So we are trying to prepare it this year again. And maybe we didn't fix any debt yet, but I will let you know, and it, it might be during December, next December or January, nothing is uh, fixed yet, but we are working on it. And if we fix that the date, it will be every year we're gonna do that festival. Maybe one year we can invite you guys to come and join us, like you won't invite us to Nyamakala um, Festival. So Nyamakala Festival will be partner to the Festival of Music and African International Music in, uh, in Kirina. Interesting. And I, I always think about to, uh, to, to, to take care of all this knowledge, all this information. It's an important, uh, it's a impo important movement. And okay. I know, I already know that you are, uh, that you are uh, playing for change foundation. Yeah. And but but I don't know how do you need to work uh, to to movement uh, financially specifically speaking that it's easy to pay to pay the bills it's easy to keep the they call it, or the, the okay. we we you you guys need uh, more more attention it's it's easy yeah. to 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 build more spaces or to to travel with the kids with the to to say yeah not the festivals how do how you are incentivated to keep it working thank you thank you for that question that's a very good uh, and very important question and for now uh, we are supported by Playing for Chance Foundation, 100% supported by Playing for Chance Foundation. Of course, some associations uh, do some donations sometimes, uh, like Gibson. Gibson has gave us some, uh, some guitars, you know, some acoustic guitars. And uh, there is another association in France, which is named Locala. They gave us um, a, a drum set, you know, uh, they, they, they gave us drum set. So very few associations like that uh, give donations, but the main support is coming from Playing for Chance. My salary, Playing for Chance is paying all the teachers every month, you know, since 2010 up to now, and Playing for Chance is paying all the, uh, the teachers and paying all the equipments we have, you know, at, at, at the school, playing for chance is uh, paying all those, uh, all those things. And when there is a festival, uh, we take the, uh, the kids, the students for, uh, the, the company which invites us for the festival, pays our tickets and take the hotel fees and the food, food room and board and food, transportation and everything. So that company pays for that. You know, and also the money that we pay for the for the kids. So the company which invites us will take care of all those uh, fees. You know, but the rest, all the other charges at school are supported by Playing for Chance Foundation. Yes. Such important support. It's nice. So. Yeah. Uh, um, I would like to know if somebody here that we are that we that are watching us have any question. But while mm -hmm. they while they think about a question, I would like to hear a little bit more, Cobra. It's possible. 
Okay. Is it possible? No problem. <laughs> oh, Cora, if you have, if you guys have another instrument, there's no problem to play to. But the Cora, the Cora is uh, the instrument for the moment. We are here for you, and we have much time. I prepared this uh, this meeting. Okay. Uh, this song. Uh, is Keme Burama. And also, Keme Burama was a hero. You know, he was a warrior, a hero of, uh, uh, do you hear, did you hear about uh, Samori, Samori Ture? No. Okay. Never heard. Keme Never Burama. heard. Okay. Keme Burama was a, a hero, a warrior. So, uh, the jelly, like I told you, the jelly is a person in the community which is always reminding uh, the, the, the children of the community to the, the, the brave actions the ancestors, you know, accomplished. So they always praise, you know, song. They sing some songs just to praise, you know, to remind you and be brave like your ancestors have been. So this song was dedicated to Keme Brahma because he was a hero. And you and I, we are all hero here because we are, you know, an ambition. We just want to get united through our cultures, through music. So Keme Brahma for you.
that we must improve a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, this exactly. is a question that messages came, uh, brought to us about the name okay. and you already told, and she was making a relation with uh, the melody, but uh -huh. the, and, and she asked what the lyric was, was talking about, because you introduced okay. that you, that was talking about a war here, but the melody yeah. don't sound like a war and what the lyric and the rhythm uh, means. Yeah, the lyric means, uh, like I told you, it's just praising uh, Kemi Burama for the heroic actions, you know, he did. And um, um, it may be dedicated to any other person who, you know, uh, did actions like Kemi Burama. It's just for heroes. Like I told you, we are heroes. So this song is not only dedicated to, it's of course dedicated to Kemi Burama at the origin, but now it's, it can be dedicated to all the heroes, all the bright persons, all the persons who are doing good actions, you know, uh, to do, uh, to, to, to make, you know, improvement of a human beings life, you know, in any place we are like human beings. You see what I'm saying? Thanks, thanks, thanks. Um, yeah. The other question that message uh, brought, it's about the, fa the, the financials that the Koli uh, receives. Uh, yeah. As you mentioned, the, the most part, the principal part is, are from, came, came from the foundation, the, the yeah. Play for Change Foundation. 
Yeah. And she wants to know, I, I don't know if, if, if I'm right, but she wants to know what is the principal investment of Mali for the music? They, they invest in, in which type of, of arts? Yeah, you, okay. You want to know if uh, the Malian government, what you know, principal financial action the Malian government is doing for the music school? Yes, exactly. And okay. in what uh, they invest? Yeah, I'm very sorry to tell you that, but the Malian government is not giving one cent for the activities at the music school in Kirina. And of course, the Malian government has a musical institute. There is the National Institute of Arts, where there is the music section, the music, uh, um, you know, branch, and also many other arts. The government is taking care of that. And there is also the higher institute of art, which is the conservatory of, uh, of Mali. Uh, those two uh, institutes are taken care of by the Malian government. But this one, we are humanitarians, but the Malian government doesn't give anything to support the music school in Kirin. Yes, is the big, big deal, the big context yes, of... <laughs> really, sometimes that's what I say. If the politicians, the world political leaders could understand the importance of music, you know, they would exchange the weapons, you know, to make peace. They would exchange the weapons to the musical instruments. They would send all the soldiers to the music schools because everywhere you go to play music, nobody will tell you to stop. And the music has no border. When we are musicians, we get friends. So the whole population, the world population would be friends if we were all playing music. But the political leaders are spending a lot of money in the nuclear weapons to the, you know, uh, to the weapons which are killing people to make peace. Music doesn't kill anybody to make peace. Music make everybody happy to make peace. The musical notes will never kill anybody, but the bullets from the weapon will kill innocent people in the world to make peace. That's, that's so-called peace. That's not peace that you're just killing innocent people to make peace. That's very unfair. I don't like it. I don't like that at all. So I'm calling on the world politicians just to, to, to invest a little bit in the culture, in the music, to make peace in this world. But many politicians, many, in many countries, you will see the politicians are busy, you know, just to stay in office or just to invest in, a, in war, different war. There, are, there is war here. They're going to send a lot of soldiers and a lot of weapons and a lot of, you know, equipment just to make, to, to, peace, uh, to keep peace. That's not peacekeeping because you go to kill somebody to, be, to make peace. Musicians will never kill anybody to make peace. They will make everybody happy to make peace. It's a sad conclusion that I, I, I'm agreeing here that we face the same, exactly the same here. The strategy is to keep us uh, fighting and killing each other. Uh, yeah. Without investing in this in the this area that is pretty important, yeah, and not not important. It's 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 not the, a good word. It's uh, it's structural. Yeah, yeah. The culture, yeah. the culture to, to to keep the culture and to keep it the the health healthy <laughs> culture. Exactly. And to keep us healthy, it's a it's a strategy that we must to to make uh, by ourselves asking for some some investments. Yes. And talking about health, 
as as a nurse that I'm that I am too. I was thinking okay. about. I, I would like to know. Uh, to how do you how do you they they call it the music spend the moment of the pandemic. How 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 was it for you guys that the the COVID did not be killed many of you guys or it was possible to keep working? Um, we were closed because um, at the very beginning, you know, Africa was not affected by this COVID, you know, like the European countries and the American countries, like you guys there. Uh, but uh, although uh, the rates of the contaminated people uh, was lower than anywhere in the planet, um, our authorities took some measures to close all the schools and uh, all the services during a very, a very long period of time, which was not easy for anybody to support. You know, uh, sometimes, uh, if the cultural activities, the, the, the concerts, you know, the festivals, and every, everything was closed. So musicians sometimes leave out of the concerts they, they do, the festivals they do. If there is no event, you know, people will stay like that. And the Malian government was not, you know, able to give funds you know to support all the musicians and all the artists of mali they just gave something like less than 200 us dollar during the whole COVID situation and not everybody got that they just selected some people you know corruption in africa is here forever so they just selected some closer uh, you know some close up you know parents or I know knowledge, you know, friends, they, they gave the, that money to those people. But I can say 80% of the musicians didn't get anything from that funds. So it was very hard, very hard for musicians to leave, you know, and still now life is very hard, very expensive here. Like, you know, we are living, uh, we are going through a transitional period. There was a coup in Mali and uh, uh, Mali was sanctioned by the ECOWAS, you know, communities, financial and political sanctions. So the borders of Mali were closed. So no, no, you know, product was coming from outside, from, uh, from outside to Mali. So the prices raised. The prices tripled. Now the cooking gas, the six kilograms of the cooking gas was something like uh, two or three US, three, three US dollar. But now it's, it's, it's like 20 US dollar, you know. And for a family, for the Malian, the average Malian people cannot afford to buy that. And with the environmental problem, people don't want to use charcoal because this is not ecological. People are going to cut down trees to make charcoal and uh, some other projects are fighting against, you know, uh, with the climate change, we have to take care of the environment we are living. So if you cut down the trees, while other people are planting trees, you guys are cutting down trees to make charcoal. So that's nonsense. So we are trying, as musicians, we also try to sensitize people uh, about climate change, about the environmental problems. Yeah. As, as we, we knew here in Brazil too, was uh, we are still um, watching the 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 episodes of the the this pandemic the COVID nineteen was um, a, a great problem of us. Many times I was imagining that we never we will never meet each other again. For yeah, others, yeah. was a moment that many of our oldest, many yeah. oldest was they died and. Yeah. Uh, was uh, uh, um, 
uh, uh, waste, uh, not waste, how to say, I'm forgetting the word, but yeah, they were, yeah, we, I can understand. We lost, we lost afraid. many of us. Yeah, and yeah. The, old, mean, the, the, the oldest was the most problem because when you, when, uh, while we, you are talking to me and to us, uh, it's important to know and to be in front, to be present of a person who knows about the yeah. history about and can um, and can put a light of, uh, of a good feeling. Yeah, and yeah. here in Brazil, we learned that uh, the African culture, the principal, mm -hmm. uh, the principal uh, pavement, uh, walks around the oral culture. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and it's important to to register that oral cult cult culture. Uh, mm -hmm must to be uh, must to be distributed by yeah. some people Free. who work for jelly yeah. with a jelly because it's not for yeah. anyone we need yeah. we need people like you and thank you so much already I, I read say thank you because the way you yeah. explain and the way you uh, invite us to keeping looking for it to, to keeping our culture it's, it's a nice. uh, it's a different way. It's a special way, and okay. it, that is what a cult, oral culture means. It's not for anyone to to tell about culture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. I I'm I'm feeling this in in this moment. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm very happy, and I have a very deep feeling of uh, what you know is the. The ambition you you guys have, you know, we are going to join you, and we all going to join forces to make our dreams come true, and to you know to come up to realize uh, our ambitions. And about uh, and about music, I. I... I have a curiosity. Uh, it's possible to create how how we can create new songs or tell a new histories, her stories, if you want. But it's possible to create, and all uh, you are always singing the same songs uh, as a principal. Um, establishment is it's it's possible to to come a new person and tell a history i have a new song and i will play it in a chorus. it's possible yes yeah it is possible yes that's possible you know we have a female singer maybe uh next time or i have a video of her i'm gonna send you so you're going to listen to that. She's a, she's a jelly. And um, she's very young, but she has a very nice voice. And uh, she can sing history of, uh, you know, the ancestors and uh, say pra praises of, uh, you know, Sunya Takeita, for instance. We can, uh, we can conclude by a Kora Nut, a song dedicated to Sunya Takeita as the, the king of uh, the empire of Monday. But when you finish with all the questions and uh, we're gonna play that and maybe we can conclude everything with that. Before okay. that, you can ask you know, any questions the other people have, they can send you the questions and then I can answer. So, and, but I, as you said, Sorry, Maud. Come, se você não me, se você não me dá um tempo, eu vou hoje. Vem, diga. Sei, é porque eu só lembrei, né? Porque essas conversas estão levando a gente tão longe. Mas aí, é, I remember that uh, Kirina had a special role in the story of the Empire Mandem because of yes. the the bataille between Sunjata Keita and Sumoro Kante, it was in yes. Kirina. 
No, yes. and Inkirina, the say do it touched me very much because I played in Goni and okay. I'm very connected with uh, the Donso culture. Okay, uh, good. good. And you are a Donso say do. You are from this society. <laughs> this touch my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Donso hey. children. I'm, a, I'm from a Donso family and uh, I'm a Donso child. Oh, this is amazing. Gisela. Yes. So please explain what you what Donso. Yeah, the yeah. hunter, the caçador. The hunter, the hunter yeah, is the and, hunter. Yeah, and the hunter is very important. Uh, it yes. has a rule fundamental in the culture of Mandang and lots of exactly. other uh, uh, African from uh, uh, West Africa. The West hunter African is culture. Asia, no? Yes, yes. Thank you, Mome, for that. Thank you for that, after, you know, yes. I, I try to explain that to Cizel. You know, the hunters are, it's, a, it's like a, an association, you know, but they are the most important uh, part of the Monday culture, you know, because everything started by the hunter. Sunja Takeita was a hunter, and even Sumanguru Kante was a hunter. And that uh, history of uh, the battle of uh, Sumanguru Kante and uh, Sunja Takeita, you know, Sumanguru Kante was uh, the king of uh, Soso. Soso is uh, in between. Uh, Mali and Mauritania these days, you know, uh, that part was called Soso. And uh, the empire of Mande was part of, like I told you, what was uh, Mali, Senegal, Gambia, Burkina Faso, uh, etc. So Sumangru would try to invade, it, you know, the Mande empire. And there has been four battles. The Mande king, or the Mande Massa, uh, Narefa Maga, who is the father of Sumangu Kante, they failed all those battles. Then they called Sumangu to come, uh, I mean, Sunjata Keita to come, like the, he was the prince at that time. But when his father died, his, his brother took the power, um, uh, who was, uh, um, um, his, uh, yeah, he, who was older than him. But he was not strong enough. He was not powerful enough to face uh, Sumanguru Kante's, you know, uh, soldiers. Then the Mande communities, you know, called on Sunja Takeita to come, you know, because he left the village, his village, when his father died, he went to his mother's village. Then the Mande community called him to come because the, you know, in the, um, the readers, in Africa, we, de, we do readings, you know, the marabouts, they tell the, you know, the future. So those marabou told the Suma, uh, Sunjata father that Sunjata would be the king of the Mande Empire one day, and he will be powerful over all the other, you know, kings. So when the marabou, uh, you know, uh, uh, told that to Sunjata's father, he kept that in, uh, in secret. And finally, he let everybody know that when he died, Sunjata must come to the power just to control uh, the invasion of Sumangru Kante. But by jealousy, Sunjata's brother and Sunjata's aunt, you know, uh, his, his father's second wife, didn't understand that, didn't want Sunjata to be the king. And when his brother came to the power, Sumangru invited the Mande Empire and the Mande Empire faced four battles. Then they called Sunjata, like the Marabu said, they have to call Sunjata to come to save the Mande Empire against Sumangru Kante. That's how Sunjata came and uh, he, he fought against Sumangru Kante. And that battle was in Kirina. You know, that was uh, 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 organized in Kirina. Because Sunjata's uh, Marabu told him that if he wants to win against Sumangru, he has to invite him in Kirina in a dual battle. No, no other soldiers, but Sumangru has to come alone and Sunjata has to come alone. 
And Sumjata, Sumangu was so proud of, of himself. He thought that he was so powerful. Nobody could do anything against him. He was very well protected by, you know, his fetish and all those things, you know, and that was true. But Sunjata was more powerful, more protected. And then when they came together in Kirina, Sunjata won the battle. And that's why Kirina is a very important village in the Mande history. And that battle happened in 1235. Uh, 1235, that was in 13th century, you know. Thank you, Mome, to remind me for the history. And the hunters, all, all the warriors at that period were hunters, were donso. You know, you have to be a, a donso to be a, a warrior. So the donso is a very important part uh, of the Mande culture. Very important that Mo reminded it. So it's very important <laughs> yeah. to know this part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Kirina, Kirina is a place that that we can find the warriors. Yeah, yeah. And now, if you want to have, uh, there are some uh, some old men. Until now, if they. They do prayers for you. You go to the uh, to the to the war or to any difficult situation. You come, they pray for you, and you will go. You will do that. You will come out of that difficult situation and with very very successful. You know, uh, you know. That's until now. So Kurina is a very important village in Mali. And because also, all the they're population, so powerful. Powerful. So all the the, the ninety percent of the population in Kirina is jelly grilled. You see how powerful they are. What? Uh, it's it's not a <laughs> normal place. This territory <laughs> has something special. Thank you. Thank you. Thank that you. aggregates <laughs> the most power. <laughs> Thank you. The most Thank power you. people Obrigado. in all of the Mali. <laughs> Obrigado. Obrigado. <laughs> yes. And that are, as I told, uh, that are the most oldest people too. That, that the. The ninety percent is jelly, and all the all the jelly are the oldest, the other elders, like elders. Yes, yeah, you know, uh, they're the elders, and they they are elders griots and younger griots, but there are also elder nobles and younger nobles, but the elders, you know, and the griots every time the griots are here just to remind you know, the noble class to the, the heroism the ancestors did in the past. Just to let them know that, yeah, nothing has been written. We have oral tradition and that's from generation to generation. And your father, my father has a griot, his son will be my griot. And my son, uh, his son, uh, his son will be the griot of my son. That is like that. Every family has a griot, you know, from your ancestors up to you. And till now we have that in Mali. And anywhere your griot speak, you have to stop talking and listen to him. Yes. Very important to know. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, we will know, and we must to hear any anything they want to say. Okay. Anything, uh, anything. We 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 work. We we do the same here, and uh, we we can understand the value of the of a, this you. past this personality this person. Obrigado. Uh, I would like to return to the beginning. Uh, but the beginning uh -huh. when that when we were not recording, 
because okay. in this movement of to 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 know who are the elders and to meet them and mm -hmm. that we we are now meeting in this meeting that meeting yeah. each other so that I, I would like to to return to that moment when you talked about that we are a big community in the world in the diaspora and it's yeah. important that we, we we keep touching yeah that's right why it's important why it's important mali brazil burkina faso marocos we are big yeah. uh diaspora we are yeah. afropolitans yeah. we really yes. we really are afropolitans yeah yeah and that's very important the, in mali i'm going to talk about the the respect for the elders in mali um what is common maybe in uh, burkina faso in senegal in guinea conakry guinea bissau and uh in gambia um, the respect for the elder is very important. Uh, we believe that when you respect any person of the same age uh, of your father or your mother, it's a blessing for you. And that creates a social cohesion in the communities. You know, there is uh, no problem, no war, you know, if the, the youngest, respect the elders. When, for instance, I see I'm not supposed to, to be seen, I'm taking an example, a very simple example, uh, which is very common in uh, uh, the developed countries like in Europe, like in, in America, young people seeing with girls, young girls, boys and girls, seeing each other together, you know, uh, embracing or kissing each other in the street. You can never do that in front of an elder person in, in Mali. If you see a, a, an, an elder person, even if you are working with a girlfriend, you have, you're working hand in hand, you just leave, you, you just leave the hand of your girlfriend and you separate, like making sure that you, were, you are not together. To, to make sure, to, to make the, the elder person believe that you are not together. But if you are together, you just do like it's your sister, but not your girlfriend. That's one aspect. Another aspect is that you come to see an elder person, you must be the first person, person to say hello, to greet him. You know, and the old person is coming with some, uh, some a package. Is walking in the street, is not your father, is not your mother, but it's an elder person. Is carrying uh, something heavy, a package, something. You have you run toward him. You take the package. You escort him, and take him to his house. You bring the the, the package to his house, and then put the package down, and he will bless. He will bless you. He will write, okay, God bless you, son you know, long life to you, you know, he will say blessing to you. And that's another aspect. You see what I'm saying? So the respect of the elder is very, very important here. And I'm telling you a story. I, I was in Morocco a week ago and we were in the restaurant, the restaurant of the hotel. It was the dinner time. And there were some white old persons and we, it was the self-service, you know? The food was the self-service, but you have to follow the line with your plates and you take. There were some old person, I was, I was before them, but when I look back behind me, I saw them like I'm an African man. So I said, oh no, I must not be served before this older person. Then I left the line. And I gave them the right of their line. And they said, okay, go ahead, please. You are elder person. You must be priority to the elder person. Oh, but they didn't appreciate that. It, because it's not their culture. They say, oh, 
He's, he's saying that I, we are older. You know, they all look at me like that. Oh, are you saying that we are older? No, we are as younger as you. You know, don't say we are older. I say, okay, excuse me, I'm an African. And in Africa, we respect all the persons like that. Uh, I must give you the time to be served before me because I'm supposed to be strong enough and I can stand longer than you are. But if that, you know, is if I'm just hating you with those words, excuse me, we are from a different culture. You see, so if that was in Africa, the younger person will wait until, you know, the elder person gets served that, uh, you know, and they get the food, then we young persons, we come to, to serve ourselves. You see? So it's very important. And also anything we do, if we have an old person in the family, we go to ask advice from, from the elder person. If I want to get married, I go to see my, my, my uncle, the oldest person of the family. I'll say, okay, uh, this is the girl. I want to marry the girls from this family. And then he will tell me to bring that girl, you know. And then one day I will bring the girl in our house. And when the girl comes in the house, in our house, the older persons will look at her from her toys up to the hairs. And they will, they will do some studies, you know, psychological and physical studies. They will ask questions to the, to the girl. The way the girls will respond and the girls, the, the way the girls will look at them. Because here in Africa, when you speak to the elder person, you don't face to them. You don't look at them in face. You put your head, your head down to, to, to speak to them. That's the most respect to them. But in, in the Western culture, you talk to somebody, you have to look him or her in the faces to, to, to talk to him. That's different in Africa. You talk to elder person, you don't look at them in face. So when I bring the girl I want to marry to my, my parents, the elder person would be sitting. Some, some of them would tell, hey, hi, my daughter, go and bring some water. I want to drink. So they will look at the girls, the movement the girls will do, going to take the water, bring the water, the way she will be working, the way she will be looking at them, you know, the elder person would study all of them, all, all of those actions. And then we'll tell you in conclusion, okay, my son, marry with this girl is a very good woman. Or don't marry this girl because she has such and such problem. She might not have children in the future. She might not live longer. Or you may die when you, you marry her. You, 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 both of you will die when you, you marry this one. Or you will never be happy in this marriage, both of you, you know. So that's how sometimes the elder persons are very important because they have also learned that from the ancestors and that knowledge is not written, but is spiritual. Nice. You you yes. made you made you made me think uh, about uh, the the spaces where these relations occur, because okay. here in Brazil is the same. But we I I I, pre I present these movements with the elders. Uh, okay. We think inside a special space. That is where we can uh, we can practice our spirituality. Mm -hmm. That that are the heritage from Africa. That in Brazil we yes. call by candomblé. Uh, it okay. has it's a special place 
but it's linked for the spiritual, the, the, the practice of the religion. And okay. I would like to know about uh, how are the religions around there, around there in Mali uh, okay. and the influences uh, of the culture of jelly, the influences of the other religions uh, for to, to keep uh, these knowledge and if are uh, any type of conflict between the religions? Yeah, that's a very good question. You know, uh, Christianism and Islam came to Africa, but they found that Africa had its own religion, its own beliefs, you know, and which was very powerful. Now, I can say that there is no conflict between those religions and the modern religions, because I call Islam and uh, Christianism modern religions. But animism was the African religion, you know, especially Malian religion. Sunyata Keita, the empire of Mali, there was no Islamic, there was, there was no Muslim. But people were living in harmony and they were, we were living in peace. And until now, of course, many people has been converted to Islam or Christianism, but believe me, they keep, they, they still keeping, you know, something in their pocket. <laughs> That's our root. We will never I forget think our root. Sounds like sounds like I can see here the same. <laughs> <laughs> we have the root. We don't have to forget that. And the jelly, the jelly sometimes say in the praise, if you forget where you are coming from, you will get lost in the future because you will not know where you're going to. So we don't have to forget our roots. That's very important. You see, and that's in the culture, that's in the spirituality. So no matter how there is Islam here and there is Christianism here, we still have our ancestors' candomblé. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I, here in my context of the music, the, the musical context that we call by Maracatu and okay. the Ventus de Ouro. Ventus de Ouro, it's like a gold wind, the winds okay. of gold, gold, gold winds. And okay. the Maracatu, uh, we are uh, inside of uh, rituals of the Candomblé. And the mm -hmm. most part of the group are women and young women. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that when we are together inside of the candomblé and the rituals and the festivities, we have mm -hmm. the, the, this, this uh, power, uh, he, we, we call it, we, we, we make a recall of power where, where yeah. we, go to 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 call to the our ancestors and I, sometimes I, me, tell me let me tell you something is easy i usually watch documentaries about brazil and about the spiritualities and some places where they are doing uh shrines you know some people have shrines and they are doing sacrifice sacrifices I can hear some words when they have doing those sacrifice incantations. I can hear some words we are typically Bambara. You see, to, to tell you that we still have many things, you know, from Africa is still alive there and uh, they are still powerful. Never forget them. Never throw them away.
You see? You see what I'm saying? Yes, uh -huh. I don't know. Well, well, we we are working for the lady die. It's uh okay. such a, it, it's a important uh, uh, it's a it's a central for us and to me when as as I'm telling you uh yeah. the, to to walk with a group of uh, young people that are practicing uh are from the spirituality and they are playing too. It's a yeah. connection that it's really important today. We are 2022 and we have yeah. many informations and we have many uh, negativities uh, yeah. Yeah. Associated, associated for to, to this and each more, the, the more yeah. we, we access more young girls, more young people come to us and say, I, yeah. I want to do it too. And yeah. I, I would like to, to reinforce that our compromise is not to let it, to let it die. We yeah. are keeping yeah. our ancestors alive with uh, 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 great pleasure. It's, uh, it's not just because we have to, it's because yeah. we feel that it's uh, when we do it, we can grow up. We we stay more powerful, more beauty, more movemented, and we yeah. we travel, keeping yeah. our ancestors our ancestors alive. We can meet in in, in presence uh, each other, yeah. and we are doing it with a special. Uh, with a special uh, inter, 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 I had an emotion yeah. that I forgot the word. <laughs> but, but I think, but I guess you, you are understanding me that yeah, uh, the words that, that, the words that you heard, you keep yeah. hearing here, here in Brazil yeah. or in the yeah. other places. Yes. And I think that that it's a Nyamakala. It's to uh, when I heard uh, the first time I heard, I saw Nyamakala as a circulation. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I think that it's something around that we are uh, Nyamakala, Nyamakala. Yeah. Nyamakala, yes, Nyamakala. That's the right <laughs> word. And Nyamakala is a. Uh, it's a group of uh, social, social class persons. Like I told you, Jelly is part of Nyamakala, Jelly is real. The blacksmith, uh, we call it Numu on, in French, they call, call it Four Zero. The blacksmith, that's the, the, the Numu. So in Bambara, the Jelly, Numu, Garange. Garange, those are the persons who work on the ladder. Later, they, they show, later they make uh, uh, leather shoes, they, they, they make leather belts, you know. Those are the garange, and we call them cordonnier in French. And the fune, fune also uh, are, uh, they are very, um, um, very good in uh, speech, you know. They also praise, you know, they, they talk, they tell stories too. You know, they praise the heroes. So the Fune and uh, the, uh, the Gaulo, okay? The Gaulo also are, are part of Nyamakala. And the Mabo, Mabo also is part of Nyamakala. So in Mali, you have Jeli is the number one Nyamakala. You have the Numu, you have the Garange, you have uh, um, the Mabo, uh, no, no, the, the Fune, you have the Mabo, eh, you have the Gaulo. Something like six or six or seven uh, uh, class group, class, class, you know, social class. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I will ask if, if more, more, do you yeah. want to bring us? Please ask him something that 
por favor, pergunte alguma coisa que está escondida. Ah, não yes, nos deixe esquecer. Mo, please don't let say do forget something that you know that's pretty important. Oh yes, Mo, can you remind me any any important aspect? I can give details. Maybe Mo knows a, a little bit. Just remind me if you know anything you didn't hear from me. Just remind me. I'll give you more details about. It. Oh my God, say do. I think everybody here must go there in Kirina to, to meet say do. Let's, okay. let's do it next year, inshallah. 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 I can't wait. Oh, Fabian, I can't wait prepare. Inshallah. inshallah. Uh, but uh, yeah. I want to say uh, really, really, Al Baraka. Thank you. Merci. Gratidão, Thank you. because. Uh, here uh, is very interesting because uh, the yeah. jelly, the gaulo, the griot, no, the, the amacala, when it uh, goes out of Africa and arrives here in uh, Latin America, uh, yeah. we receive this this heritage, no, of uh -huh. the uh, of the how to do the things, how to think how to talk, how to play the music. Uh, and yeah. for us, you are a griot. Do you understand? Yeah. But I know that inside of the Malian culture, you must yeah. uh, uh, born in a griot family to be considered uh, a griot. So for, for us, you are a warrior and you yeah. are a hunter. Uh, Thank you. And... This... <laughs> Thank you. and and I'm feeling so uh, uh, emotive because you are a messenger. Yeah. You are a messenger. Thank you you you, you are a missionary. You have a mission. You. you are blessed. Thank you are blessed Thank from from God and from these ancestors. Do you understand? Thank you. Because it's not a, any person that can could do what you have done to your people. Thank you. You are there in Kirina, which is a whole a holy place. Se sacré qua, se un local sacré. Kirina, se se un local où tous les fils de Africa, de diaspora, eh, we must go to Kirina, like eh, in a peregrination. It's uh, like a pilgrimage, like exactly, you exactly. Understand? So. Uh, uh, in name of, of us that we are here, uh, I wanted to thank you for your work because I know it's not easy. It's not yeah, easy, yeah, but you. Uh, and you are yeah. helping the tradition of the jelly keep going on in Mali. And this yeah. is not some little thing. This is big thing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Mo. Thank you. Obrigado. Thank you very much. Obrigado. Yeah. And we are, <laughs> the time is almost finished. And I'm touched because I uh, I knew, when I knew Gisela, uh, she yeah. touched me because she loved the Malian culture. Oh, so, thank you. Thank uh, you. What is happening today? Uh, like you, you both meeting, we meeting together here is yeah. like uh, something very spiritual, very political, very yeah. real. Uh, uh, even being virtual is very real. That's right. So That's right. I, I, I'm very touched. I, I would like to say thank you to you. Thank you to, uh, to Mafe, to Mechi, to Gusta, to Asuka, to everybody. We are little here. We are not big, uh, uh, lots of people here. But I hear that the empty places are full of energy and presence. Energy and spirit. Thank you. So this, this I, I hope that God keep uh, uh, giving you everything you need, everything your family need. And we are here to work together with you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Thank Mom. you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. It was so nice. Tem mais que falar, gente? Se alguém quer falar, por favor. É, sei do. Anitê, entre que é. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Ça va, Mali? Merci. Ça va, toi? Merci, ça va, ici. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Coca-Cola. Tu t'appelles comment? Merci. Coca-Cola, oui. Merci. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Bien fort, eh? Merci. Quand on veut qu'on fait. Quand on veut qu'on fait, oh. Bye. Ok. Eh, hey, comment les moi Ah, merci. Dime. Ça, c'est mal. Eh, hey, voilà. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super <laughs> Wow! This is the family. This is the family. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> obrigado. Mucho obrigado. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Yes. All the mice. Yeah. Keep pra, pra, I, I'm asking if someone wants to talk a little bit more. Quem mais que quiera hablar para Seidu? Agradeço muito esta fala. Kiki, pra, prana, prana para nós. Abla, we have a person saying I'm, I'm contagious. It was happy. They are giving Thank thanks in the chat. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. So another, he's she's trying to speak up. We can't hear you. A gente não está escutando você. Está muito baixo. Fernanda, ela está falando? Estou falando. Agora. 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 Agora, agora sim. Agora, sim. Agora, Nossa, sim. eu só quero agradecer. Eu fico muito feliz da conversa. E eu tenho que confessar que quase entendi tudo em inglês. Esse inglês eu gostei. Eu compreendi por primeira vez na minha vida uma conversa quase inteira em inglês. Estou orgulhosa. Estou orgulhosa e agradecida com Seidu. Na verdade, fico muito contenta desta conversa entre vocês. Eu só gostaria de uma primeira aula, sabe? Em três minutos, sei lá. O que eles, se você pode é, traduzir para ele, Gisela, o que okay. eles falam para a primeira pessoa, sabe? Ele tem falado que na escola do Mali pode ir qualquer pessoa, de qualquer idade. E você fala, mesmo eu, que eu tenho muito, como vou aprender? Então, eu gostaria de saber o que eles falam a estas pessoas que têm muitos anos, que querem aprender e que dizem, não, não eu não posso. Então, o que eles falam? O que eles dizem? Você pode, pega este instrumento, começa. Como, quais são as duas notas que eles... É isso, como uma, qual é essa primeira aula para encorajar as pessoas de qualquer idade a tocar um instrumento? Ótimo, Fernanda. Vou perguntar. Uh, Fernanda came with a question because when, when in that moment when I asked uh, even me that I'm an old person, I can go to to a college de music and I can learn yeah. to play an instrument. And you yeah. you 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 told yes, anybody can come. And she wants yeah. to know. When when a old person arrives and say no, I can't. I will never learn. So what yeah. what what the words or how do you empower an old person to play a, an instrument? 
to begin? Yeah. How, how to empower? What you say? What you say for the first time when a person come and say, I don't, I can't? When the person come and say, I can't, we will say, you are never too old to learn. So whenever you like something, you can do it. One is never too old to learn. So with the power of music, when we say that, when we say to a person, old person that you are never too old to learn, and with, in addition to the power of music, we just play something for him or her, and that will attract the person to come to the instrument. You see what I'm saying? But the first thing to, to make the person comfortable is to make her sure that she or he is never too old to learn. We can learn anytime in our age. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. Entendeu, Fernanda? Essa é o diálogo que não precisa de tradução até no inglês. <risos> Mas é, é, entendeu que é isso, né? A gente nunca é velho para aprender e a força da música ajuda nesse processo de superar a barreira da idade. Basicamente essa é a resposta. Isso. Então, toquemos música para finalizar e agradecer este encontro tão maravilhoso. Isso, sim, vamos tocar. She say do. Yes. Um, it, it, uh, we are in the, in the end, we must all finish. Okay. That's the okay. moment. I, I think okay. it's, it's too late over there, but it was a great pleasure. I don't yeah. have words as more uh, was connecting this meeting. I, I, I was, I, I could uh, uh, sleep without thinking about this moment. And I'm so glad that I'm alive to, to receive this information yeah. to stay here in front of you yeah. guys in this moment. Okay. And I've, I've survived to COVID-19 to, <laughs> to be present yeah. here. <laughs> Yeah, and really, really can fight against COVID-19. No, yeah, it, and it's a it's a great pleasure to receive all this information. We Thank we you. never we never too old to learn. <laughs> we <Thank> never <laughs> to learn, and even more, and even more when we are learning uh, information yeah. that wasn't. Uh, wa washed. These yeah, informations yeah. that you are bringing to us uh, yeah. are coming from the matrix, are coming from the mother. And Thank it's you. pretty important to receive and to keep, it, to, to keep in touch uh, with all Thank the you. productions of you. And Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. There's no thanks to say. So to finalize, to, to end, let's play. Let's mm -hmm. end with music to empower our communities around the world to, to make the, the power travel for anyone no who problem. needs. No problem. But before playing music, I want to know, is she satisfied with the response I gave? Sorry, is the lady is the lady satisfied with my response? Fernanda, você está satisfeita com a resposta? Com certeza. É uma resposta muito encorajante. Muito grata. Muito grata. It's an interesting. She 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 gives thanks. <laughs> absolutely, Thank absolutely. She liked. Thank you. Okay, now we are going to play this song. 
dedicated to uh, to Sunjata Keita and all its uh, you know ancestors and descendants. Yeah. for tomorrow, the other days of Nyamakala, <laughs> this big festival. It's just a it was just the beginning and it was amazing. And thank, thank you, you say do thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Zizel. Thank you, everybody. Have a nice time and enjoy the rest of the festival. Thanks. Gracias. Gracias. Gracias.
aos Obrigado. links do evento aqui no, no chat. Thanks. Muito, muito obrigada, gente. Quem, como, ah, eu estou pensando que sou eu que vou encerrar a gravação. Muito obrigada.